What's going on guys, Scope Scripter here, back with another video, and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make team only spawns in Roblox Studio quickly and easily. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually insert some teams, obviously. So you're going to go into your explorer, and by the way if you don't know how to open your explorer, I'll show you that right now. You're going to go right up here to your view tab, just explore, properties, and boom. Uh, there it goes. You'll also need your properties too, so just make sure that's open as well. It's right next to the explorer button, I'm sure you'll find it. But anyways, once you got that open in your explorer, you're gonna go down to teams, and you're gonna press this plus button. Oops. And you're gonna press this plus button, and you're gonna insert team. Now, if you don't see this button pop up immediately for the team, you just can you can just go up here to search object, search for team, and then you can just click that, and there there you go. And I'm gonna insert a second team, and there it is. And I'm gonna rename these teams. You can name these whatever you want, but I'm gonna name this to team one. And I'm going to name the second one to Team 2. So once you're done naming them, you're actually going to go to your teams. And in your properties, you're going to find Team Color right here. Again, if you can't find it or if you don't know where it is, you can just search for it in the property search bar for Team Color. And by default, it will be set to white. And you can actually change this color to whatever you want. Um, it honestly doesn't matter. Just make sure you remember which color you change this to because you're going to need it later on for other properties and changing other things. But for now, I'm just gonna choose, let's see, I'm gonna choose new yellow as my color for team one. And for team number two, I'm going to choose really red for my color. So now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna insert two spawn points. So I already have one here by default, but I'm just gonna get rid of this for the example. And you're gonna go right up here to the model tab and you're just gonna press this button twice. And it's right under effects right up here and it should insert two spawn points and it might be right on top of each other That's fine. You can kind of drag them around now. You can also customize these if you want you can delete the decal I'm actually gonna change this will be my team one spawn so I'll make it yellow and this will be my team two spawn so I'll make it red and now just for organization purposes um, I'm gonna rename this to team one spawn So right up here the yellow one and now the red one too team to spawn so there we go so now we have our two spawn locations and our two teams now this won't completely work yet but i'm gonna just play test it to show you guys what we have so far so as you can see right here it says team one it says team two um now i am in a team but i it's not really team only spawns yet if i reset i could spawn on either or see and now i spawned on the red team spawn even though i'm actually on team one and that's team two so I'm going to go over how you can actually make it team only spawns right now. So you're actually in your explorer, you're going to select a spawn point. You can start with, with whichever spawn point you want. I'm going to start with the team one spawn. And in your properties, you're actually going to scroll down here and you're going to press neutral and you're going to uncheck that box. And now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go right down here to team color and you're just going to change this to the team one spawn color and this is actually why I said you're gonna need this color in the future so I actually forgot what it was well I mean it's right here so I do remember but I'm just using this as an example so let's say I forgot what the color was you can just go right down here to team one and you can see it was new yellow so it's okay you don't have to change anything or delete anything but yeah so if you can't find this property or it got moved somehow you can again search for it in the properties search bar and then team color you change it to new yellow or whatever your color was just make sure it's exactly your color or I don't think this will work and then we're gonna move on to the team two spawns I know I made this one really red because that's what I said the brick color is as well so I'm just gonna find this and there we go and I'm gonna uncheck neutral again so now if we join this it will auto assign us to a team first of all and I'll show you how to disable that in a moment but first of all, I'm on team one now. So if I reset my character, I should not be able to spawn on the team two spawn. And there you go. I can only spawn on the yellow one because of the properties we just changed. And I can only spawn on my team spawn. So that's pretty much how you do that. Now I will go over auto assignables now. So basically, if you click on your teams right down here, you can see it says auto assignable and there will be a little checkbox. Basically what this means is that the game will auto assign a team for the player. So it's really random, I could end up on team red, I could end up on team yellow, 
and the system actually does go off of you know how many players are on the team it does balance it but if you want to disable this and you want to make some sort of system where the players choose then i would just uncheck auto assignable on both of these but i'm not going to go over that in this video um but um yeah basically that's how you make team only spawns in roblox studio i really hope this helped you guys out if you did make sure to subscribe and like and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video